My name's Warren Talbert, and um, my wife, Savannah Talbert, and we've been hanging out together for about 42 years now. Yes. <laughs> have a wonderful family, four sons, three daughters, 18 grandkids, and five great-grandkids, and I love them all. And they're all, I'm so blessed to have them because they all love the Lord. About 15 years ago, a young woman approached me about uh, having an abortion and uh, didn't want to do that for her. But it just so happens that the week before, I was at an expo. And when I went in, I stopped at this table called Real Choices. And that's as far as I went the whole night. I spent the whole evening talking with these ladies. I didn't know why. Uh, so the following week, this occurred with this young woman. And so I knew that I could take her over to Real Choices and get some answers. And that's what we did. Um, instead of her having the abortion, she decided, uh, well, do we have any alternatives? Well, we had adoption because she didn't want to be a mom. And she decided on that. And she gave birth to a baby boy who was adopted. This past summer, we were sitting in a convention and uh, the Lord just spoke to my heart about uh, doing something for the unborn. And the Holy Spirit just started bringing that back to me, how we helped a young woman and that this is what he wanted us to do. And so I shared that with Warren and immediately he was on board. Mercy houses, they house young women who find themselves in a situation of an unplanned pregnancy and uh, they house them, they support them, uh, not only financially, but psychologically, spiritually, uh, especially spiritually. Uh, they all, they go to church, they do the whole nine yards, you know. Um, teach them life skills. Teach them life skills, finances, how mm -hmm. to budget, how to take care of a baby. They can stay there up until the baby is three months. Then they go to a transitional home if they have to. Uh, places like, um, I believe there's a place called Crazy Eight out in Cleborn and Gate House that's here in the area. And they have a, a longer extended stay if they need to be there. And uh, we just stop in. We're always invited, you know. We were invited for a Friendsgiving a couple of weeks ago, which was wonderful. We went there on Wednesday. You mostly sat with the baby and just had a she good time. She taught them how to cook and They taught and me how turkeys. to cook. These <laughs> girls can cook over there. Yeah. You know, then we played games afterwards. And uh, then this past week, we were there, and I took my grandkids over there. They've been there a couple of times. Uh, and they love it over there. And, mm. and there's a couple there that Warren uh, just ministers to all the time. And, I, you know, I can hear them in the kitchen cooking. I can hear them in the background. Oh, I can man, I sense them just pulling just out of him, drawn. you know, what's there. Because I think there's a lot of dads that's been missing in their lives, yeah. too. And to have someone of wisdom uh, to speak into their lives uh, in love, they just, they just love it. And no, they never want us to leave. As a matter of fact, <laughs> when we were there a couple of weeks ago, one of the girls said, uh, uh, we said, well, we have to go. <laughs> and she said, one, one of the girls said, well, where are you going? And the other girl said, well, maybe they're going to get their blankets and pillows, you know, so that we can come back and stay, you know. So, um, yeah, it likes, every time we go, you know, it's, uh, it's an opportunity to just minister. And sometimes don't say anything. I'll just sit up and hold one of them or hold the babies. You know, we have those lingering moments where we just just stay there and just you know hold the babies or just fellowship or you know watch Stevie or something because it's just has turned into a real comfortable place. When we come there, it's like we're going to one of our homes.